Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. We've got a few nice plans coming up this week so I thought I would film it. And today is Friday, it's nearly the weekend and I've had a couple of my beauty favourites, beauty staples be uh, delivered today. So I'll show you a couple of them and I'll try and find um, links to pop down below as well if you're interested. Um, the first one is my lip comfort oil from Clarins and this stuff is just magic. I absolutely love this. I've not found any other product that even comes close to this. So here's what it looks like. I just get it in zero one honey but there are other um, kind of colours that you can get this in. But yeah it's just so soothing and it feels so moisturising on the lips but not sticky and I'll just pop some on now. Mm, it smells so good and you can see it leaves such a shine, such a gloss to it, but it's not sticky at all. You know sometimes when you've got um, like a lip gloss on, it feels like really sticky and cloggy. It's not like that at all, it's just really nice and mm, nourishing. Anyway, I'm just going to go and grab some lunch now and then get on with the rest of the day. Quite conscious recently of just trying to eat a bit better and give my body the right fuels that it needs to give me energy and keep me going through the day. So I've got a tuna pasta salad, that's just from Asta, uh, apple and cinnamon fruit and grain bar, and I've just got a handful of strawberries and then a glass of water. Just quickly thought I'd show you a um, typical working from home outfit for me as well. So today I've just got on a simple white tee. I think this one is just from Matalan, but um, really lightweight, really nice and comfortable for the day. And then I've just got some kind of joggers, lounge pants on. These are from Primark and I think they are borderline pyjamas. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're super comfortable and my Bow Avenue slippers as always. But yeah, when I'm working from home, comfort is key. So any outfits like this are just perfect. If you order from Clarins quite often, you will know that you always get a few free samples. And this time I went for one of the Nutri Lumiere Jour. Jour. <laughs> it's a um, it's a revitalizing day cream, and I did actually try this already this morning. Um, this is what the packaging looks like and this one was lovely I really liked this one it's quite creamy in texture so I think I'll give that a couple more goes and see what I think then I also got the beauty flash balm this is one that I've had before I really like this product and um, it's designed to brighten and tighten skin and I find that this is, I actually use this as a bit of a primer. I really like this. And that's a good thing about samples. You kind of rediscover products that you haven't had in a while. And then I finally chose the nourish, nourishing, <laughs> nourishing oil scrub with sugar micro crystals. I haven't tried this before, but I wanted a new face exfoliator so that's what the packaging looks like and it smells lovely I'm not sure what the ingredients are in this one but it smells really nice I'm looking forward to giving that one you and me alone you and me alone inside of our embassy everything we need right here make me sing along sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Yeah, it's so dark and gloomy outside. I feel like there's going to be another thunderstorm. 
Um, but anyway, I have quite a few friends' birthdays around this time. Um, so I just thought I would share a few presents that I picked up for them. Um, I love getting people gifts. Not necessarily, it doesn't have to be anything super expensive. But I just love kind of thinking about what this person would like and then treating them to something nice. So first of all, I've got a few cards recently. Um, these two are just from Card Factory. This is one for my cousin. And then another one here for my another cousin's little girl who is turning one and then these two are both from home bargains the home bargains yeah i'm pretty sure that these are home bargains so we've got this one and i love the cards from home bargains and then this one which is a 30th so i've got those and then my friend who is turning 30, I found this print on Etsy that I ordered for her and hopefully the camera will pick it up okay but it's basically a print of all different facts and figures and random bits of info of the year that she was born and she is in the process of moving into a new house so I've got this framed and I thought that might be a nice gift for her for a 30th. And then one of my other friends whose birthdays is, she has recently become a mummy for the first time. So I wanted to get her some nice little bits and bobs so she can just have a chill out night and treat herself, have a little bit of a pamper. I thought she could run herself a nice bath and I thought this sounded so nice. I actually wish I'd got one of these for myself. It's the Radox Feel Blissful Bath Soak yeah and then i got her a bottle of asti because she loves asti so she can have a glass of asti in the bath and i also found this um dairy milk birthday cake and i think that this is an australian thing but it's um a cadbury dairy milk marvelous creations birthday cake it's got marshmallow hundreds and thousands and biscuit pieces it sounds so good um, and then I also got her a fennel brightening mask sheet and a little candle this is just from b &M. it says escape on it mmm it smells so nice mandarin lemon and pink grapefruit mmm oh this reminds me of a product I can't think what it is. Mm, it smells so good though. So yeah, I got her those little bits and bobs so that she can enjoy a nice chilled pamper night hopefully and have a bit of time to herself. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get these wrapped up ready to go. Lynch has been on a late night trip to Aldi. To Aldi? To Asda. I'm obsessed with going to Aldi. <laughs> to Asda mm. to get a gift for I suppose she is kind of like our niece it's my cousin's little girl's first birthday tomorrow and I found this book in Asda it's so cute it's called Rabbit's Nap Tales from Acorn Wood how cute are like baby books mm. a lift the flap book I'm gonna read it what do you want me to read it to you Whole story. Do you want a bedtime story? <laughs> okay, so I got her that for tomorrow, and I also found this journal in the stationery section, and you just pull that off, and then it's got in here it's got one kind of exercise book for recording different goals. And then it's got another exercise book, um, which is just lined. So I'm gonna use this to journal because the book that I use to journal at the moment is a bit old and ratty now. Um, but that was just three pounds. I think that's such good value. 
it's faux leather on the cover which is nice quality so yeah it was just three pounds there's something so nice about like sitting in the car in the rain mm. it makes me remember like when we were in New Zealand and we spent all this time in a car <laughs> well we lived in a camper van for how I can't remember how long but we lived in a camper van and when it was raining, if we were in a site that was like completely off grid, we would just kind of have to spend the whole night in the van. <laughs> if there wasn't any area that was undercover, we would just spend the whole night in the van and cook in there, eat in there, sleep in there. But there's something really cozy now about being in the car and it's absolutely chucking it down. So yeah, we're gonna eat our um, slurries. Oh, I think this is ours. Hiya. Hiya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, bless her. She's like proper. I don't so, know where she, where she come from. Yeah, uh, she went round there. Then she came back down. Oh, that's right. Job in there. I think to throw food out in the way. Because I mean, like, it is chucking it down. I should give him like an umbrella hat or something. Yeah. We said, didn't we, when we came out of Asda, it was like, um, um, yeah, but it was like Florida weather. Humid. If you've been to Florida, humid. Humid. <laughs> if you've been to Florida or live in Florida, you'll know how humid it is. And like when you walk out of a store, because the aircon is so strong in the store, when you walk out, it just hits you. I love that. I'm like made for mm. that weather. I flourished in that weather hmm. and it kind of felt a bit like that tonight so anyway we're going to eat our McFlurries Grant got a wrap of the day yep and then Don't yeah we'll actually please oh you have your um... my dessert yeah and then we're just going to go home and chill I think and Sleep. have a nice night Bye. What's your first impression of the ceremony room? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. <laughs> yeah. I think they do, yeah. Yeah, they do. But I was just saying, I've seen it. I think they had like a big floral display, didn't they, Grant, when we came? So. At some got, point or other, yeah. Got two pulleys there, so you can put stuff up as well. But yeah. yeah. Do you want to practice, Dad? I want to practice. Walking. Walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do this. Yeah. I can walk down here. Yeah. And then this is where the register not the registrar, the like ceremony yeah. person ceremony. will be. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And then if we come through here, mm -hmm. this is like the bar lounge area. Mm. 
can go out. We'll go outside afterwards. I'll take you through here first. So. Yeah, so this is for like bar and lounge area. And they were saying that they like oh, yeah. they like these fires and you can do like roasting marshmallows and stuff outside if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So on the day, I'll come through that door there. And then we've got this room here to hang out in, a toilet over there, space to relax, put our bags. And then when it's time, <laughs> hello mum, me and dad will come up here and then down the aisle here to the ceremony in, yeah. What do you think then, Mum? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, very good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. I was really nervous this morning. Why? I don't know. In case we didn't like <laughs> No. So good. I felt as if I was like coming or getting married today or something. <laughs> yeah, I would practice. <laughs> 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 bye venue till next time bye 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 <laughs> yeah no it's been so long since we left Cape yeah. I forgot, oh, I forgot what it looked like I was getting mixed up with another venue oh uh, wait yeah. <laughs> oh god we've just finished up at the venue we've been there about an hour actually just kind of showing our parents around but it's so nice to go and see it again and just like feel really excited all over again about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been nine months. Yeah, I just feel like really excited about it and like getting all the planning and everything and we've only been able to go and see it just us two the last couple of times so it's nice to be able to go and take our mum and dad. Um, nearly a year ago. Yeah, and show them the space. Well, I was thinking it was nearly a year ago. Yeah, since we last saw it. set eyes on this place when we went and we tied them up. Yeah, so yeah it was really exciting. There is actually a wedding there today. Um, but yeah I'm really grateful that we can like, Covid is finally on its way out and we can go and take our parents and show them and yeah. Hopefully there'll be no time limit on our wedding. Yeah so it was really nice to see it again and um, we're just driving now to have a look at the hotel that we've booked for um, our wedding. So we're going to have a look at the hotel where I'll be staying the night before and then we'll both be staying and all our families staying the night of the wedding too. Um, so we're just going to go have a look at that because we've never been. Oh. And then I don't know what we're doing after that. Digging. Good morning everyone. 
everybody it is saturday morning today and i thought i would film a little bit this morning because me and some of my best girlfriends are going strawberry picking so we're going to a local ish pick your own berry farm um i think it's called eastfield pick your own berries eastfield soft berries in tickhill in doncaster but I've seen a few um, a few friends go there in the past and it looks really nice but I've never been there myself so thought we would get the girls together and go there today. So I've just finished doing some makeup and I just thought I'd share because this is the first time that I've used um, my new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, and I got this in the shade 3 Neutral, um, but yeah, I really like it. It's a lot heavier coverage than what I would usually wear on um, just a day-to-day. -day. But at the same time, it sits really nicely on the skin. It's not too heavy. Um, I used to be a Loyal MAC Studio Fix foundation wearer and that is if you've ever worn that that is quite heavy um it doesn't sit too heavy on the skin it's really nice yeah i really like this i'll um, link it down below if you're interested <clears throat> i think you can buy this in boots and um, i did get mine off clarins clarins <laughs> i did get mine off charlotte tilbury website direct um and i wasn't actually intending on buying this but I was buying my um, Magic Cream and I had an offer on where you literally got this for free. So yeah, I'm just going to finish off getting ready and then we are going to go and pick some strawberries. We just got to the strawberry patch. It's so cute, it's so hot as well today. We got everything so we're just gonna dive in and get some strokes. I've got my little basket. today which is crazy it's like um, a broad temperatures and I've got my huge uh, um, punnet box of strawberries <laughs> and these smell oh, so good mm, yeah I think I'm gonna um, 
wash all of these and pop them in the fridge for now and then I think I might try and make some strawberry daiquiris, some jam, I might try and freeze some and use them for smoothies um, but yeah it was such a cute day, it was so nice this morning to go and do that um, and I was saying to the girls that at the start of every new season, spring, summer, autumn, winter, I always do a kind of season bucket list and I put on there things that I want to do within that season um, and strawberry picking was on there for my summer bucket list this year. So yeah, it's the first time I've ever been to do pick your own berries um, but it was such a cute little like activity to do this morning with some of my girlfriends and we had a nice catch up and a drink. If you're local, I would definitely recommend the, oh, I keep forgetting the name of it, I think it's the East, I haven't got my phone either, the East, oh, I think it's the East Hill Farm, East Hill Field Farm in Tickhill in Doncaster. But yeah, it's really popular, they've got Facebook and they're on socials and the website obviously if you want to google it and find out where they are but they were real, they were so well organised, it wasn't too busy but even though there were quite a lot of people there, the field they have is huge so there's loads of room Um, great things to go and take kids to do as well like I say there's loads of room for them to run around and you don't have to worry about um, you know them being too close to everybody so yeah it was really good and the strawberries are like absolutely huge okay i feel like i didn't pick i don't know maybe that one doesn't okay so here's like no this one this is like a regular size strawberry and then they also they have like look how big that is and they have loads of these but yeah it was such a cute little thing to do and it was something a little bit different as well so i would definitely recommend it it was good fun so yeah, we've been, well, I'm home now. Grant is out at his mum and dad's. Indy is flaked out on the sofa, bless her, because it is so hot. Um, can't walk her until like way later tonight because it is just far too hot for her to have a walk um, during the day now. Yeah, I'm gonna chill out for a bit and then later tonight we are going to Miller and Carter for tea with family. And I absolutely love it there. I love going to a steakhouse for tea. So we're doing that and that'll be a really nice night. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some bits and bobs this afternoon and then get ready and go and have a nice tea. But I'm gonna leave this video here. So I hope you've enjoyed a few moments from my week. Um, I love watching these kind of videos. I love seeing snippets of people's weeks. So I hope you've enjoyed watching it and thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.